Hey guys, Mark Thrasher, Protect Dog Training, our newest convert. This is uh, Prince, and he is a uh, coon hound mixed with bully, which is kind of a cool little thing. His nose is what directs everything. So we're just gonna do our first day today with just food and clicker and try to get him to start to pair with him sound, right? And that shouldn't be too hard. Up, up, up. There you go. Good boy. Good. Good boy. Should be interesting to see how well a coon hound does with the obedient thing. Eh? But I don't think it's much different than any other dog except his nose is what drives him, right? Everything's going to be about his nose. Everything's about being him distracted, into smell, and then sm and in the putting his nose to the ground, and, and that's what he sees the world. He sees the world through his nose, right? So you got to respect that and know that that's what's going to be the, the driving motivator for this animal is his nose, which helps with food. And then you can get him doing some things, but. Where's his brain at in the work? Where's his head at in the work? Cause it's gonna be a coon hound. Good. <laughs> Things like this. A little stubbornness wanting to go down. He's not gonna to wanna to go down that easy. He's not gonna to wanna to sit that easy. So you're gonna see me doing a lot of placing like that because the fact of the matter is his brain doesn't work the same way as your little herding breeds, right? He's a different dog altogether. So. Be knowing this already, I'm going to be doing kind of a slight placement type of stuff, right? I'll get through them a lot faster that way. Good, good. There you go, good boy, good. There you go. And put the positive on the back side instead of waiting for him to do it. He's not going to be as, not going to conceive that as well as me placing him into things. So I'll place him into a lot of stuff until he figures it out. Good boy, good, there you go. So the positive comes from him getting that whole thing of food, right? He was jackpotted, come on. Come on, Prince. Come on, Prince. And how do I know this? My gut. My gut tells me, and then I studied the breed right away. I studied the coon hound last night online. The bully breeds I'm already familiar with. Good. If he lived in hunting country, this would be the kind of dog you'd want. Because that mix is probably a really good mix for chasing after game. And having the tenacity to stay with it. See how he didn't want to go down? His brain's thinking nose. It's always thinking about you're going to have to get through to him another way. So I just placed him. This reminds me of old school. Good, there you go, good. And then keep it positive as much as possible. Good boy. Good boy, Prince. Yep, good boy, yeah. Hey, good boy, Prince, good. Try to catch some patterns that he can get used to. Yay, so everything starts with patterns, right? Good boy. Good boy. Good, there you go, good boy, good boy. So instead of struggling and waiting for him to down, which could take me a year, I'd rather place because I know where his head's at. His head's in a different spot. You're okay. Go, what was that? What was that? What was that? Huh? You got startled. Huh? It startled me too, whatever it was. There he goes. Good. He's already figured it out, right? Jackpot at the bottom. Good boy. Which allows you to use this table. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Starts flooding him with his clicker, so he starts figuring out the sound means it's coming, right? He's an intelligent little dog, but his drives are different. So he's got to be receptive to what's going to make him tick. His brain is going to be more into sniffing and smelling and be oblivious to the world around him as much. Because the color in his world and his visuals are all with that nose. Good boy, good. Good boy, good. There you go. Good. Think about the difference between him and what I, how I'd handle the Malinois or the Dutch Shepherd. 
I would just wait for the Malinois Dutch Shepherd to give me the behavior. If I do that with him, I'll be here a lot, a lot longer. Will he, could he do it? Sure, you could do it. But it's the same reason that I don't do uh, shaping. Shaping takes me too dang long. I could do it, but it just takes too much, too long. So the goal right now is to flood him with a clicker and start giving him an idea that the right answer is what gets him the reward, right? Yeah, there you go. Good boy. The more we do that with giving him the right, the right answer, gives him the reward, the more he's going to start getting the attitude of reaching for what I want. That's what we're after as we go along. Good boy, good, Prince. Good boy, good, Prince. Yep, good boy, yeah. <laughs> All right, Mark Ferrasi, Protect Dog Training, signing off with Prince, the little coon hound bully mix. He's going to be a good one. He's about four months old now. Just starting. Yeah, good boy. We'll be taking him out in public. Which is not that big a deal with a dog like this because, again, their mind is in everything that's smelling around them, so they're oblivious to this outside. Where other breeds are going to be more in tune with the visuals and they're more uh, affected by that outside environment. This dog is not going to be as affected as, as much as another dog might, okay? Sounds will get him going, though. He just got startled with a horse kind of jumped in the cage and he's, boom, he turtled off of that. So. I'll let you know how it goes. Mark Fresh, Protect Dog Training, signing off.